Welcome to the first video of structural steel connections. In this video, we will be just focusing on the types of steel connections and the importance of steel connections. In the later parts of this course, we will learn how to get our hands on the most advanced tool available for designing steel connections, including different types of prefabricated and tested connections all over the world. Starting with steel connections, steel connection is the most important part of steel construction that is steel structures. We usually do steel structures in industrial buildings and many other structures. The connections must be stronger and more ductile than the member itself. The connection codes are different for different regions. For example, AISC 360 specifications is for United States and India has its own steel design code, similarly European code and others. In practice, there is a separate connection designer for a project apart from structural designer. Okay, this refers to that when a structural engineer is assigned a steel structure project, he designs the structural members and denotes all the compressive or bending moments or shear force on the diagrams and then delivers the project to the connection designer. Then there is a connect separate connection designer which who designs the structural connections. In most of the part of the world this practice is followed. Different configurations dif require different connections. For example, crust members can simply be welded together or may be connected using gusset connections. But the transfer of force will be more or less similar. It is important to discuss the type of connections. We have two types of connections broadly on the type of joining that is bolted connections and welded connections. Bolted connections involve the joining of the members by help of bolts while welded connections involve the connecting members joined together by weld with the specified thickness. On the force transfer mechanism, there are various types of connections which are code specific. For example, we will be using AISC code. There are different prefabricated connections that are laboratory tested and the code specifications are made on the basis of those test results. Some important connection types based on the force transfer are shear connection, Shear connection transfers shear force from one member to another member. It may be a beam to beam connection or a beam to column connection. Moment connection transfers force from in terms of flexion from one member to another member. It is usually in column and beam connection and can also be in column to column connection. Gusset connection primarily transfers axial force but minor moments and shear force as well are transferred because of the eccentricity of the poles from the centroid. Splice connections Splice connections are provided. For example, you have a 20 story building. You cannot erect the columns of the 20 stories altogether. So you will be needing to provide the connection between columns itself. So their splice connections are designed to transfer the connection or if the connection or the column sizes is changing so we need to provide the splice to transfer the force from one column to another column similarly there are splices in beams provided now the last type of connection in broad terms is column base split in steel structures we have concrete based foundations normally so to transfer the force from con steel structure to the base of concrete, we use base plate or spider plate. The type of connection depends upon structural designer. For example, if in e if you have reviewed ETAB's video from the same channel, you'll see we have released moments in design of steel purlins, that is secondary beams, while in primary beams, that is part of moment for resisting system, we don't release moments. So when we release moments then the connection to be designed will only be shear connection. Otherwise for a moment resisting frame there must be shear and moment combined connection. Both may be designed separately. 
important connection types the important shear connection types include shear plate shear plate consists of a plate welded to column or primary beam or girder but may be belted to the secondary or connecting beam or purlin end plate connection also a type of shear connection weld in which the plate is welded to column or the primary beam but may be bolted or welded to the connecting beam double angle connection double angle consists of two angles welded or bolted to either side of the connecting beam web and connect welded or bolted to the primary column or beam basic us bolted or welded connections consist of angle welded or bolted to the flanges of the connecting beam and may be welded or bolted to the column or primary beam important moment connection types are also discussed first is fixed plate top bottom plate welded to column or primary beam girder and may be bolted or welded to the beam flanges to transfer the moment from the connecting member to column or its flange moment double angle it is also similar to fixed plate but the only difference is it utilizes angle instead of a plate the double angle may be welded or bolted to the primary beam or column but may be bolted or welded to the connecting beam from which the moment it has to be transferred important moment and shear combined connections moment and plate dg4 extended flush connections it is a pre qualified connections from aisc standards primarily consisting of plate welded to beam and bolted to column flange using four or eight standard bolt specifications and additional transfer stiffeners for column web and beam top may be provided in this course we will learn how to design all of these type of connections using the forces moment and plate and extended flush dg16 is similar to dg4 but there are few standard or qualification differences for size references and plate thickness specifications and experimental condition differences it is also a pre qualified con connection primarily consisting of plate welded to beam and bolted to column using four or eight bolts and additional transfer stiffener similar to dg4 type connections for column web and beam top may be provided imported gusset connection types double angle or da column beam brace consists of double angle welded or bolted to column and welded to gusset plate which is welded to brace and beam shear plate column beam brace consists of shear plate welded to column and further bolted or welded to beam and brace double weld or column beam brace consists of simple plate welded to column beam and brace important base plate connection types first is pin blaze plate only for transfer of axial forces as it is similar to a hinge connection or if the primary model consists of the uh, pin support for the columns uniaxial base plate consists of transfer of axial shear force and unidirectional moment from column to the base of foundation by axial base plate is also a realistic condition in which we transfer for the design of axial force shear force by axial directional moments from the column to base while the final but not the least gusset base plate connection used in case of base frame or brace connections in combination with column to base now let's have a quick look on the software we'll be using it is bentley stad similar software that is also known as ram connection you can easily download from the bentley website and have a license for the software so from here we will start adding the new joint and add the current load 
conditions generate automatic load combinations section library of different types and american and indian chinese australian and other libraries are all defined here already While materials are also defined here for United States, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, Europe, India, United Kingdom. Connections which are automatically defined, predefined from different countries. Bold libraries which we'll be using in the connection. Weld electrodes anchor bolts and here in design we can also generate the connection details which can be exported to AutoCAD and from the output we can get a complete report which can be combined with the calculation binder check the description links for important updates and also subscribe to the channel for much more important content related to structural engineering to come through. Thank you.